Hi, this is a Bright Spot Automation video tutorial showing you how to take some fast electroluminescence images out in the field. Here we have somewhere in this yard are a couple of solar panels. So let's turn on the camera and see if we can see anything as we move around. Oh, there's, there's a panel over there. I know there's another one somewhere. Oh, there's another one. Let's go over here. We're going to try to fill, fill the uh, sensor area with the panel. It's pretty, pretty good. And now it's maybe a little bit too dark, but we can, uh, we're going to go down to this one over here and we're going to zoom in a little bit. And now we're going to adjust the uh, ISO. Let me make it a little bit brighter. And then we're going to try to focus now. So we're going to zoom in here to focus. We'll zoom in a factor of eight. And we'll look here down at this bottom screen. And by focusing on, on the bottom, we can get an optimum focus. And then when we're ready, we're going to take an image by pressing the remote shutter. We have a five second exposure. Okay, and now we can see the uh, we can see the image that was taken. Looks like it's in good focus. Let's go get that other. All right, we're getting reasonably close to the module. We're going to extend out the tripod legs and move back a little bit. All right, that's pretty well centered. Uh, looks like we're way too bright here, so we're going to adjust the ISO. Adjust that downward. You can see the histogram, and we want to get that more in the middle. Okay, and now we want to focus. We will zoom in and adjust the focus ring until it's well focused and then we'll take the remote shutter and take an exposure again it's a five second exposure and here you can see the image of the module so that's that um, for now and we will do some post-processing of that later and we'll be back in a minute here we are now at the computer I've copied the two images from the camera to the computer, renamed them. Here on the right, we have the 60 cell module and on the left, the 72 cell module. Let's go into uh, Impel software. Uh, we start here on the capture tab where we could, if we wanted to control the camera directly rather than manually like we did, likewise with the power supply. And there's a failed analyst section where you can quantify the defects that you see in each image. But what I want to concentrate here is on the process tab. So we're going to open up a file. Let's open up, say, the uh, 60 cell image file first. And there we're going to see the original file here. Now, all these operations, we can make them all happen in series and so we're going to press multi-process to do that first it's going to brighten up the corners with a vignette correction remove some barrel distortion uh, effects then it's going to improve the contrast uh, with a histogram stretch and finally it's going to um, get rid of the perspective um, distortion and crop the dark area around so we end up with a nice uh, rectangular image there if you want um, you can go to settings and actually um, look at that in a colorized mode. And then you can zoom in and pan around and look at all the defects. So now uh, let's go look at the other module here. Uh, it's a, it's a longer module. So let's increase our length to two meters. Um, and we'll um, and this time we'll actually have it automatically a multi-process. We don't have to press that button. So let's open up that image and it's going to automatically perform all those uh, corrections. First colorize, then vignette, then distortion.
correction, improve the contrast with a histogram stretch, and then correct for um, perspective and crop around the dark area around the module. All right, and there we go. Again, we can zoom in and uh, pan around and look at look at various defects. Oh, there are many on this one. So that's it. Thanks, and uh, we'll see you next time.